In order for us to exist on Earth, our sun had to be a star with just the right mass and temperature, not too hot or too cold. Our sun generates a perfect amount of energy for life on Earth. If we were to experience a drop in the sun's energy by only a few percent, all the oceans would freeze. The Earth is the correct distance from the sun. If the Earth were slightly closer to the sun or farther away, it would be too hot or too cold for life to exist. The size of Earth is also right, not too big and not too small. We also fortunately have the right size moon, primarily responsible for regulating the tides on Earth. These are just a few examples from a long list of factors that need to be just right on both the cosmic level and Earth's local level in order to have a planet that could support life. In many cases, if you even slightly altered these precisely balanced factors, life would be impossible on Earth. On Earth, many different forms of life are completely dependent upon each other. Examples are insects and plants such as bees and pollen-bearing plants. If either the plants or bees evolved before the other, they would have not survived. Therefore, they must have come into existence at the same time. The Earth's ocean basins and atmosphere have just the right mixture and balance of gases. If these gases were changed in any way, animal life and vegetation on Earth would die. Evolutionists have no explanation for why the Earth, unlike other planets, has such an incredible amount of water. We also have a planet that is rich in oxygen. If our current 21% oxygen level were just a few percent higher, our atmosphere could become completely unstable and explosive. Earth has a magnetic field. Without this field, the solar wind would blow our atmosphere away. Earth's atmosphere blocks harmful sunlight while at the same time it allows sunlight that is useful for life. Plants require large amounts of sunlight to exist, and a human being's richest source by far for vitamin D is sunlight. When sunlight hits the skin, vitamin D is produced by the body. A lack of vitamin D has been directly linked to many health problems.